My conception of love has been a long process of refinement, stretching back through hazy memories of adolescent idealism, assumptions that was all so straightforward. You'll know it when you feel it, when simply I was accepting the easiest choices and making the least effort. Eventually, experience taught me otherwise, pointing out patterns of behavior for how attachments are formed with looks exchanged during leisurely dinners or late night walks, romantic settings wherein histories, favorite books, and all sorts of sundry topics are discussed between rounds or drinks and groping, conversations of all kinds continued under bedclothes, caresses, whispers which, if you are not careful, may lead to false assumptions being formed, conclusions jumped, and a series of misunderstandings which result in tears and self-berating. Passing, sooner or later, through a period of recovery so that you may hope once again in that right moment. See, those romantic ideals never totally disappear. After all, what is love without the belief that another smile can contain an explanation for how everything might make sense? How all your stumbling failures were merely a means to getting you here. Will all those mistakes of the past no longer infuriate? No. Not now that you have learned from missed opportunities, remembering how each broken heart leads to being more adventurous. And when that right moment finally does arrive, you will be ready with confidence to melt into each other's arms and embrace those emotions which flow so naturally between you. Since love, like anything else, is something which must be learned as well as felt. You can experience the most intense burnings of passion, longings for comradeship, yet if you cannot relate, nurture and feed that flame, it is awful not. What is love? Love is infatuation which lasts. Not necessarily in the exact same form. Our emotions maturing as we do, growing with us, which is the toughest test for any pairing, changing together by continuing to meander down the same path.